So let's talk about the difference between being native to Mexico to being native to the United States. Some of the comments I've been receiving that are more hateful are ones trying to invalidate me and say that I'm not native and asking proof of my tribal ID or res, things like that. Well, the thing is, that's not a thing uh, in Mexico. Uh, when it comes to that, the government doesn't really recognize any tribes. Um, and there isn't tribal IDs. And it's treated very differently than it is in the U.S. Um, being indigenous is not seen as a good thing. A lot of people still look down on indigenous people. And the communities are constantly at risk and being harmed and um, being called Indian or indigenous is like an insult um, so it's it's very different than the United States because here you see some pretendians like they really want to latch on to the culture or a tribe um, but people definitely don't do that there now, the definition of being indigenous is different as well. Um, to be seen as indigenous, you need to be from a community. Um, it has nothing to do with your blood or where you really come from. Uh, you could be 100% indigenous by blood, but you won't be considered indigenous unless you come from a community. And that's where the whole thing of reconnecting comes in. A lot of us have been uh, displaced. Our families have moved and now we're in these other areas where we lose that identity and also have lost identity through colonization and they've tried to strip it away from us. And it's that we know that we do come from these communities, but we are no longer a part of them and we want to reconnect we have our own separate struggles than those that are indigenous here in the united states and it's unfair to speak over them and to compare all of our struggles because it's different my family is from jalisco in Guanajuato. we ended up in michigan because of migrant work and I'm very disconnected from my family for personal reasons I would not like to go into, but I am still Native.